Hey everyone, what's up? Since you are watching this video, my guess is that you already know what the multipoint is, but just in case you don't, multipoint is a Bluetooth headset function that allows one set of Bluetooth earbuds to connect to two devices simultaneously. So when you are playing music or sound on either device, the sound will come to your earbuds and you no longer need to like do the manual connection again each time you are switching the device. This is very convenient, uh, especially when you have uh, two devices that you use very commonly and switch back and forth very frequently. Multipoint needed to be implemented at the hardware level. Unfortunately, there are very few true wireless earbuds currently in the market that have this function. In fact, for the four most popular brands, Apple, Samsung, uh, Jabra, and uh, Sony, only Jabra earbuds have multipoint implemented. This is quite frustrating to me because I really liked the Samsung Galaxy Buds line. But for some reason, Samsung just kept excluding this function from each generation of their Galaxy Buds, including the most recent one, the Galaxy Buds Pro. Interestingly, Samsung recently released a new feature to some of its uh, most recent phones and tablets. Uh, the feature is called uh, Music Share, which sort of mimics what uh, multipoint can do, but in a very different way. Let me first quickly go through what's the difference and the hood between Music Share and the multipoint. Multipoint is relatively simple. Basically, both of your devices are connected to your earbud through Bluetooth. Uh, simultaneously and directly. That's why no matter which device you play your sound, your earbud will hear it. Music Share, on the other hand, is different in the way that only one of your devices is connected to your earbud directly through Bluetooth. Let's call that device the primary device. And then the other device of yours is the secondary device, which uh, connects actually to the primary device through Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So when you play sound on the secondary device, the sound signal actually goes to your primary device first, and then the primary device will redirect the sound to your earbud. So there's a detour for the sound played from the secondary device. Now let me show you how to set up and use Music Share. I will use this phone, the S20, as my primary device, and the, the tablet is a Tab S7 Plus. This will be my secondary device. And I have a Bluetooth speaker here. So first, my primary device is already connected to the uh, Bluetooth speaker. Uh, we can test it. If I say play, students take courses and yeah, the sound is coming out from the speaker. So that's good. Summer. Now we need to go to the menu and uh, find music share. You hold the music share. Go in there, you will see uh, some options to set up it. And uh, I will make everyone being able to access the music share. And also I want to make sure the speaker is actually enabled for music share. So that's all good here. And then from my secondary device, I will go to Bluetooth. And here you will see the speaker is showing up here via Galaxy S20. So you just connect that. And here you can see the primary device says uh, um, Tab S7 Plus is trying to connect to the speaker. So I allow it. And it's connected. Now let's go back and play the music on the secondary device. And uh, yeah, the sound is coming out from the speaker. And if I switch to the primary device and play again, you can see the primary device start to play in that speaker and the secondary device is paused. And if I play the secondary device again, it transfers to the secondary device and this is paused. So that's how it works. So that seems working. 
And what's even better is that music share is not limited to just one set of earbuds. It can work with pretty much any Bluetooth sound devices, like uh, any brand of Bluetooth earbuds, um, your Bluetooth speaker, or even your car's Bluetooth uh, audio system. So that sounds like this must be the holy grail of uh, multipoint, right? Calm down, not so fast. Let me tell you why it's not. First, Music Share requires both of the devices to be relatively recent Samsung devices. This is the list of devices that Samsung claims work with Music Share. So, if one of your devices is not a Samsung device, or even if you have both of your devices being Samsung's, but one of them is relatively old, Music Share will not work. Secondly, to enjoy the music from your secondary device in your earbud, your primary device must be very nearby. This is because only the primary device is connected to your earbud, and it's through Bluetooth, which have a very short range. So you can't just leave your primary device in your, uh, in your kitchen and then go to the backyard and try to enjoy the music from your secondary device through your earbud because your earbud actually cannot connect to your primary device anymore. After hearing those two, many of you might be like, that's fine, I can live with those limitations. But this third one I'm gonna talk about, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the torpedo that really sinks the ship. And the problem is the delay. Let me use one of my old videos to demonstrate how bad the delay is. Hey everyone, welcome to this new video. Today we are going to talk about this Apple Pencil nib cover. It does exactly what its name suggests. It covers your Apple Pencil nib so that you don't wear it out during the everyday usage. I hope you can catch that. The delay is really bad. It makes watching video just a torture. And um, uh, if you are trying to play games, I bet it's even more intolerable. So for me, I don't think I will use the music share function. I would rather tolerate the boredom of switching connection each time than live with this pseudo multi-point function that comes with such a big drawback. And since you have watched this far, I'm pretty sure you like the video. So don't hold back your feel. Click that like button as you want it. I'll see you next time.